Cause I don't care what you think. I don't... Men will finally know what the heck women are thinking. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Uh -huh. Sign me up for seconds. Sign me up for seconds. I want more. Back at it again. It's Stephen Loa time all the time. And again, we're looking at the the uh, Steve Urkel, Loa Winslow, Carl Winslow. You know how it all intertwines, how they affect each other. And we got we got family vibes going on right now, right? Family and matters. We seen we got some family vibes going on. Let's go. Hmm, Steve looks really nice tonight. Hmm. I'm so confused. Mm. I love Stefan, but lately I'm attracted to Steve. Uh, bump Stefan. Bump Stefan, it's all about Steve. I knew it. <laughs> you are attracted to me. <laughs> boy, you're so crazy. <laughs> boy, you're so crazy, boy, you're so crazy. Look at Lil's face right now. She looked like she put on blast, got, you know, the secret is out, okay? The secret is out. In this family moment, this is what is so crazy, right? Well, again, looking at the relationship of Carl, Steve, and Laura, but looking in this family moment, and Laura's thinking these things, and Steve kind of picks it up and puts her on blast in front of who? Do we need to go back? Put <laughs> Humor, Mrs. <laughs> so on blast in front of the, the, the majority of these people, the same people, there's some, you know, take Eddie out, you know, and, and put in the, the, the young bucks right there, put in the young bucks, right? Still in the same kitchen, same uh, table with the same family. Should, I should say, should Steve have just, you know, just put her on blast like that in front of everybody? I distinctly heard you thinking you were attracted to me. Steve, what's going on? Buddy. An experiment of mine backfired earlier today, and now I can read minds. Oh, that's ridiculous. No, 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 it's true. Tell you what. Somebody thinks something, and I'll tell you what it is. So let's go back here and look at Laura's face. What have I been saying this whole entire time that, that you know, about Laura and Steve? They have a connection that the rest of the family does not have with Steve. So Steve is going to, and saying this crazy thing. Uh, this this invention backfired, and now I can read people's minds. On the average brain, you man, this this dude tripping has the face that she has right now, beautiful face. But that's why she has the face on right now, cause she's the one in the family that's not doubting anything that Steve's saying, and she got put on blast. Poor child has finally lost it. <laughs> <laughs> now I have it, Harriet. She was thinking the poor child has finally lost it. <laughs> That's right. And Laura, I read your mind when you thought that you were attracted to me. I better get out of here before I think something I might regret. Mm. Steve, I don't know what you're up to, but reading minds is like opening someone else's mail. Get this, like, do you do people feel Laura has a right to be upset? And I would say absolutely yes. But you also have to ask, why is she upset though? It hasn't been Stephen Lower time, okay? You know what I'm saying? It hasn't been Stephen Lower time for, you know, when it comes to her family. And so this was something that I think Laura needed to get to, to a place on her own to be able to tell her family on her own because she does not know how they're going to respond either. Let's remember that. That's why we're looking at the dynamic of this. She doesn't know how she completely feels about it, about Stephen Lower time, you know what I'm saying? And she doesn't know how her family is going to respond to Stephen Lower time. So this is what, so to me, Laura has, has a right to be upset right now, period. You just don't do it. Mm, you just don't, yep, yep. I thought reading minds would be a good thing. Mm. Well, Steve, you know, invading somebody's privacy is never a good thing. I like what Steve said right there when he said, you know, I thought reading minds would be a good thing. Because remember what he said when uh, about his experiment when he was talking to the guy. Best of all, men will finally know what the heck women are thinking. And saying, although he did not mean to do it on purpose, he kind of did. I think Steve absolutely wanted to know what was in the mind of Laura. And boy, did he get the information, okay? Did he get the breaking news? But at what cost, right? This too for a second. Why is it that none of the family has actually responded? They've responded to what Steve did. They have not responded to what Steve said. 
Have you noticed that? This is breaking. Steve just gave you breaking news, okay? Breaking news. Laura is feeling some type of way for the art man. And none of her family responds? Steve, why'd you want to see me? Well, I just wanted to apologize for snooping through your thoughts the other day. Uh, I wonder if he's doing it now. Oh, yes, I am, but I can't help it. You can't help it. I'm going to stop. I'm going to run the machine in reverse. Hmm. And that'll stop you from reading people's minds? Well, either that or I'll end up being a paperweight. <laughs> Steve, is this machine safe? Absolutely, positively, 100%. This is the difference between Steve and Laura and Carl and Steve, right? Is Steve and Laura, they talk things out. You know what I'm saying? They get to the bottom of things. I love it so much, guys. It, it, it fosters a healthy relationship. Don't let people lie to you and tell you that, you know, uh, sweeping things under the rug or acting like it never happened. That, that no, talking it out, it may be tough. It may be hard. It may be hard to face. You may have to cry. You know what I'm saying? You may get angry. You may be whatever, but you will be better for it. And so this is what I love that Stephen Laura always do. They talk things out, come to a resolution. Resolution in relationship is always good. Sing it, Laura. So hard for it, honey. Honey. She was hard for no money. I bet I treat her right. Hey, hey. You know what, though? There's really, I, I wish Laura would not have stopped, st st I wish Laura would have not stopped singing. Because they actually sounded kind of good together. You know what I'm saying? It was actually sounding kind of good. And she stopped it, though. You had it. Y'all had it, Steve. Y'all had it. Freeze. Oh, oh, is this okay? <laughs> Steve, if you break mom's china, she'll kill you and I'll have to mop up the blood. Right. <laughs> Don't be silly. Now, let me guess why you can help is by getting out of here immediately. Mm. I'll have you know, Mr. Clumsy was the old Steve Urkel. Oh, Steve Urkel. The new Steve Urkel is Mr. Graceful. He's Mr. Graceful, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, look, look. So, we got to call Laura out. Cause see Laura acting like she don't like all this right here. She acting like she don't like the 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 uh, the mature Steve Urkel. We we gotta go down memory lane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Morning. No, thank you. Uh, what is Laura looking at? That's why we gotta go back and look at this. What is Laura looking at right now? Okay. Wait, if you hear a weird sound in five minutes, that's me trying to get out of these pants. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you don't hear any sound at all, that's Laura looking at him in his pants, huh? Huh? Okay. Okay, Lord. I'd call you out, Laura. You have feelings for Steve Urkel. Mm-hmm. Maxine, fix your uh, face. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. You see all those things there, guys, okay? You see all those things there that will give you a clear a clear indication. Shut your stuff, boy. Shut your stuff, boy. Oh, hey, big guy. Then let me help you with that. It's okay, Steve. I have it. Oh, come on. No, I have it, Steve. Got it. He got it, Steve. Oh, oh, all the china. All mama's china. That is a, ooh. And Laura still got to clean up the mess. Give me a moment. Yeah. Get out of there. But Carl's now going to be the one in the wrong, or even if it was Laura, because of the way he reacts. And that's why I really wanted to point this out, because this, in a nutshell, is what happens all the time with Steve and Laura. And like I said, but Carl's the one that's wrong, and Laura's the one that's wrong because they pop off. It's like, no, this man just broke all their china, and it's probably does not does not have the money to replace it, and you know, or even has the mind or heart to replace it. The only thing that dude can run, 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 for is run. Hey, our report cards are here. Ooh, 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 give me, give me, give me. I'm dying to see what I got in advanced calculus. Yeah, and I'm dying to see what I got in subatomic nuclear macrobiotics. Wow. <laughs> I'm dying to see what I got in volleyball. Hey. And up until Stephen Law, uh, up until Eddie, would Stephen Law <laughs> sound like a whole essay right there? Steve, but Eddie wants to see what he got in volleyball. Okay. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I, got straight A 
I think this needs to go in here when it comes to Carl, Laura, Steve, why this is so important. Steve was not there, but do we remember this? Another excellent report card. Right, right, English right. English A, Mathematics uh -huh. A, Physical Education A, Smart. Music A, Smart. Science A, Smart. History B+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> You're seeing Laura maintain this, right? <laughs> I got straight C's. <laughs> It isn't though. <laughs> well, I, I say all the time why Laura Winslow is such a good role model because what is she modeling to us right now? Excellence, determination, fortitude, focus, consistency, right? You saw baby Laura getting them A's. You see grown up Laura getting them A's. You know, in the arms of Steve right now is because a lot of guys did not stimulate. I say this all the time, a lot of guys did not stimulate Laura's mind. They may have stimulated other parts of her, okay, but they didn't stimulate her mind. And this is what Steve does. He stimulates Laura's mind, right? She gets all, she got all A's. He got all A's. What I love so much is, what does the Bible say? Iron sharpens iron. That's what people don't recognize that Laura and Steve do for each other. They make each other better. I wanted to hack a clear path mm -hmm. through the jungle of love from your heart to my hood. The talk to us, Steve. Steve, did you have wine with them? <laughs> you know, look, look, look. What did I say? Laura has always been able to do: put a smile on Steve's face in almost any type of situation. Laura knows she got feelings for the art man. She knows she got feelings at this point. I'm drunk on you, baby. Oh. <laughs> and I always have been. See, that's the right kind of drunk, huh? That's the only drunk you need. Drunk on love, baby. Yeah, I love it, Steve. And I always have been. What am I going to do with you, Steve Urkel? Mm, mm, mm. Just love me, Laura. Love me like I love you. Oh. Come here. Uh-huh. There you go. Let it out. Beautiful. Through all the stuff they've been through, even all the stuff that they've been through with the family. Or even through all this time, seeing the ways that her family has treated Steve at times. How none of that hindered them and got them still to this place that they are right now. Her heart is boiling over for his. And his heart been boiling over for hers. You know what I'm saying? It's my favorite guy. Big guy. Hey, Big guy. Like Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's so joyful. I'm just a little giddy. Tonight is my big date with Laura. Oh. <laughs> ah. Excuse me. For, for a moment there, I thought you said you actually had a date with Laura. <laughs> I do have a date with Laura. Carl laughs. Laughs. And then look at it. And then look at his face. Do you see his face? This is what I keep telling y'all what Laura has had to deal with. I'm just saying, look at Carl's face and finding this out that Laura's going out with Steve. So this is what I'm saying. Again, when people want to go at Laura, you should consider everything. The environment she's been raised in, how her dad views, the guy that she likes. That is a major, major thing right there, guys. I'm just saying. But wait a minute. Aren't you going steady with Myra? Nope. We broke up. Now I'm his bird. <laughs> well, Steve, you better make sure that it's completely over with Myra. I just think this whole, this dynamic of Steve, um, Carl and Laura is so, it's so interesting. It's so intriguing. You know, as many times as I've watched the episodes, I never really thought about it till as of late. And I was like, man, let's, let's explore this. Right. And so the one thing that I want to pinpoint again you know, was when Steve went and was excited. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Y'all know it. I'm about to lose control. I don't know about all that. We don't need to be losing control. The Bible says to have self-control. But, you know, you saw that Steve was excited. You know, he was, you know, he was just excited. And to go back and look at Carl's face. First of all, not only just his face, but the fact that when he stood, when Steve told Carl, Carl was laughing. Carl was laughing at the, at the thought that his daughter is going out with Steve Urkel. And then the face that he had after that. Now he recovered. 
he recovered, right? Because then he was telling Steve, like, hey, you need to make sure it's really over with Myra and all that type of stuff. But again, I just want to just, just think about that. No one, again, I keep saying this. No one ever thinks about this or talks about this when it pertains to Laura. That her family is not, I told you, they're not on their Stephen Laura time. They're not on no Stephen Laura time. I always ask the question, like, what is it? I, I, I get it. Steve can be a nuisance. Like I said, when he went in there and Carl said that he got it and Steve ended up, you know, breaking all their china, that stuff gets irritating and expensive. Okay. It gets irritating and it gets expensive. I get it. Right. But is Steve really a bad person? No. Does he have a good heart? Yes. Is he a high quality person? Absolutely. Is he, has he been in love with his daughter? I'm talking about Carl, right? Has Steve been in love with his daughter and showed her nothing but the utmost respect? Has Steve been, you know, has he treated Laura like a queen? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Why would you not want that for your daughter? I get it when they're younger because it looks like it's an obsession and all that. But Steve has proven himself. He's not obsessed with Lord. He's in love with her, right? He has, he has proven that. Remember, if, if you watch some of my other videos, the, you know, the difference be, with Steve and Lord, that even with here, the Lord had to learn love and Steve's, you know, Lord thought love was a measurement and Steve saw love as a stance. And that's what you see throughout is Steve has a stance. Steve got a whole girlfriend in my room. It don't matter. It don't matter because he is in love with this woman and it's a stance. He told, you know, the other woman from the beginning, consider this. This is her father. Now, some, like I said, some of you that maybe were not raised with your father, you know, you may not understand. I am raised by my father. And when you have the man that you looked up to your whole life, looking down on this dude, it's very hard for you not to follow suit. It's very hard for Laura to not follow suit. That's why I said Laura's always shown greater, higher character because does she fall into the trap of that at, at times? Absolutely. Does Laura pop off at Steve sometimes? Absolutely. But she also shows that she's the one person that has this connection and this bond with him that nobody else does because God put it on the inside of her. You know what I'm saying? have to battle all these things, your thoughts, your feelings, understanding yourself, you know, Lauren, you know, needed time to understand herself, right? To, uh, and then you got it. You're going through all that, but then you're in an environment that is not for this, right? That you, you you're in an environment that kind of pokes fun that, you know, you had your brother laughing in your face at the dinner table over this dude. That's hard to over come. But that's what I love about this moment with Steve and Laura is that Laura, all the adversity that's, that has been thrown at them, right? All the adversity from just their own individual things that they've gone through to the family, you know, maybe not feeling Steve to whatever. Laura still lands in this place with Steve. Laura still, her heart still grows for him. She still ends up falling in love with him despite what people say about Steve, despite what her dad, and, and don't get me wrong, Carl is not like rough on Steve all the time. They have a lot of beautiful moments too, right? They, they do where they, they make up, but this is what I said. The difference with, with, with Steve and Laura and Carl and Steve is that Laura will take accountability. She will apologize. I showed you in the, in that, in the video, they will, Steve and Laura will talk through things, right? And they always find themselves on the, on the other side of that. They always find themselves on the other side of difficult situations that leads them into this place that Steve is telling them, girl, I, I'm drunk on you, baby. You know, what does Laura say? Come here. I got some loving for you, babe. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, we got to see that Laura's getting to that place where she is overcoming all of that stuff. And my point to what I'm talking about is we have to understand that that does play a part. It, it, it does. But no one ever talks about this when it comes to Laura. They just want to judge, throw stones, and do everything else. And no one ever thinks about it. And maybe because a lot of y'all and I, hey. Again, I'm saying this with gentleness. Maybe a lot of you guys 
don't actually have a father, you know, or maybe a father in the home or a father that cared or a father that valued you or whatever. So you don't even understand the impact of a father. But I'm here to tell you, not being a father, but having one. The, it, 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 I'm telling you, it's a game changer and it does affect how you see guys. It does affect how you interact with them. It affects all of that. It affects all of that. Who you marry is probably connected to what your daddy did. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? So we just have to consider that. And like I said, again, I have, I, I show gentleness for those because I do believe there's a lot out there. There's a lot of you out there, especially ladies that, that are growing up without a dad, or maybe he pop up, you know, every now and then, or maybe you know who your dad is. He just don't come around, you know, or maybe your dad's been around, but he's just never showed value in you. You know, maybe your dad has been around, but he's never told you that you're pe- beautiful. That you're like, Lord, like Lord's dad tells her you're beautiful, right? And holds this, this standard to her because uh, girl, you're, you're, you're beautiful. And, and this is what I actually expect for you because you're beautiful. This is why I always say when it comes to, and it, and again, you have to do it with gentleness, but this is why I don't ever judge a lot of these women, a lot of these young girls that be out there and having everything hanging out, everything out, everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything out in the open, there's nothing led to the imagination. That tells me that there's an insecurity there. The women, they feel like you got to just go and put yourself on display. That tells me something ain't right. Because that's what Carl's going back to. Baby, you're beautiful. You don't got to put yourself out there like that. You already bad to the bone, baby. You don't need to do that, right? So of the Carl, you know, raises the bar with Laura in that area. But I do feel where there's the area, I don't want to say that falls short, but, you know, the area that is, is, is weak is in Laura's relationship to Steve. And again, like I said, it does affect, I get it. A lot of you guys don't maybe not understand because maybe you guys didn't have a father in the home or you don't have that daddy that was around. And again, I just want to remind you, father, right? We don't all have Harriet for a mother. You know, we got to deal with the reality of what we were birthed into, what we were born into. And we have to kind of deal with that and face that. And that's what I want to encourage you in. You know, I don't care what's been said to you. I don't care what's happened to you. I don't care, you know, what people have done to you. You are not a mistake. You are not a mistake. You are here with purpose. You are here with divine purpose. And your life absolutely matters. I understand that there's rejection over here and there's pain over here and there's devaluing over here. But I'm here to let you know you matter. Your life matters matters your go your 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 uh gifts and ability your personality your smile your heart everything about you matters everything about you is needed on this earth not only with purpose but he made you with a purpose in mind and let me let you know there are people that are actually called to your purpose so maybe it may not be this person maybe it isn't your mom maybe it isn't your dad maybe it isn't a grandma maybe it isn't a parental but god has people that are called to you so look to him for that you know believe in him for that you know keep your eyes open for him for that because there's people that are called to you. It's not an easy thing. It messes with your mind. It messes with your, how you see yourself, how you value yourself, you know? Um, and that's the, the, the positive I would say about Carl that is, that is so dope. And I'll, like I said, I'll read a couple of scriptures and end it there. But let me say this. I love this. Um, um, that when it comes to Steve and Carl, because Steve and Carl, um, give Laura kind of the same thing. They think very highly of her. They treat her very, very good. You know what I'm saying? And there's also that um, comfort, you know, there's, you, you saw, you, you'll see it with Laura later, but you saw Laura like not in her mama's arm. She was in her daddy's arm needing comfort from her dad. And Steve kind of gives Laura, not in the same way, of course, but Steve kind of gives Laura that same comfort, you know, because he's smart, because he's intelligent, because Laura, Laura believes in his mind that whatever impossible situations, you know, Steve somehow can figure it out. We'll consider that. Um, and when you, when you go on with a judge Laura so harshly, but also maybe even some areas in your life and, and maybe giving yourself grace and be like, Hey, I didn't realize I was a product of my environment there. I didn't, I didn't realize that I picked up that habit, 
You know, that's why the Bible says, why, why is it that what I want to do, I don't do. And what I don't want to do, I do. Cause a lot of times we are in, we're raised in these situations. We're raised in these environments. And then we walk out into the world, you know, with those, with those things, you know, of, of the, the experience of those environments. And then we get in the situations and we're like, why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why do I act like that? Why am I like that? Why do I feel this way? Right. And because all these things are influenced again, encourage you if you do not have, um, you know, uh, a, a supporting parent, a mother, a father. There is a heavenly father who loves you, who made you, you know what I'm saying, has great things in store for you. You know, you are not rejected. You are loved. You know, you are not alone. You know, you know, you know, you may not understand why you do what you do. You may not understand certain things about you. There may be people around you that don't understand things about you, but God understands. Our father understands. He knows us better than anybody. And that should really be a comfort. I want to just encourage people with, I think it's so powerful. Again, giving yourself grace, you know, Um, you know, again, I'm gonna keep saying God, he really answers the wise God. Why did, why did, why was I born into this family? Why was I born like this? Why was I born where my mama don't care? Why was I born where my daddy don't care? Why was I I just, why, 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 you know what I'm saying? You can be filled with such, um, anger in in those moments, but I just want to encourage you here in 13, it says, as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Here's another one. Just want to encourage you. Last one. Second Corinthians 6 and 18. It says, and I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty, says the Lord Almighty. Yeah, man. Love God. Love people. May God bless you. May God keep you. It's the